no slowing down. Abbott confirms there's been no change at border since Biden's new policy. Says it's accelerating. <laughs> what did I say was going to happen? I said this policy is not going to do anything to stop the flow of immigrants whatsoever. It's a smoke. It's a whole smoke screen. It's a, it's a show. Uh, <laughs> he really don't want to do anything to protect the border. He wants it to remain open. Um, and we're seeing it. Um, we're going to play this clip from uh, uh, Fox. I think it's Fox Business or Fox News with um, Abbott. But um, before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's where I talk about things that I can't talk about here. All right, so let's talk about this news. This comes from the Daily Caller. Um, the Daily Caller's Haley Gomez. And she reports that Republican Texas Governor Greg Abbott announced Sunday to Fox News there has been no discernible change at the border since President Joe Biden's June 4th, 2024 executive order targeting immigration before claiming it's, quote, accelerating migrant crossings instead. <laughs> I told you they always do the exact opposite of what they say they're going to do. And this is proof positive here. Um, Abbott appeared on Sunday morning futures with Maria Bartiromo to discuss the ongoing southern border crisis as his state continues to take action to secure the border. Fox host Maria Bartiromo began by questioning the Texas governor on if he's seen any change at the border since Biden announced his executive order Tuesday, which will pause new asylum requests after migrant crossings hit a seven-day daily average of 2,500 and resume after hitting a seven-day daily average of 1,500. So they're still allowing them in <laughs> up to a certain point. Why not just turn them all away, you know? Uh, um... I'm not gonna. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna read what he said here. I'm just gonna play the clip. Um, let me let me get my headphones here. Here we go. All right, let's listen to what he has to say. Governor, great to see you this morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Oh, uh, my pleasure. Thank you, Maria. Can you give us an update? Have you seen any change at the border since Joe Biden came out with an executive order? None whatsoever. Listen, people need to understand that what Biden has done, uh, he's not doing anything to actually secure the border. In fact, it's the opposite uh, because he's actually authorizing uh, more people to cross the border illegally. Yeah. Uh, and think about this. When you get to that 2,500 number of people crossing the border. That, that's why I say, why not turn them all away? Why are you allowing up to a certain amount in the first place? They're here illegally. They're breaking the law. You're still allowing them in. <laughs> you just it makes no sense so that's not a border security uh, thing if you are allowing still allowing up to a certain amount 2500 to come in that is just crazy to me and they're, they're selling it as a border security as border security allowing them in oh my gosh this is disgusting work disgusting work a day that he says uh, he will allow but only then stop the asylum process when he stops the asylum process uh, there's nothing that biden is doing that actually is preventing anybody else from crossing the border there's no type of enforcement mechanism in place and so uh, as long as the biden administration uh, refuses to provide any type of enforcement any type of blockage of people crossing illegally all that this new biden policy is going to do is to actually attract and invite even more people yeah. to cross the border illegally. And you've seen on videos uh, ever since the Biden order went into place, there's no slowing down of people crossing the border. In fact, it's just accelerating. And so this this is gaslighting uh, our fellow Americans when Biden gets up and says this is going to stop people uh, from coming across the border, when he says it's going to secure the border. Uh, in fact, it is making the border illegal crossings worse. Unbelievable. And the fact that he does it five months before... Nasty work, nasty, nasty work. Uh, again, <laughs> it does absolutely nothing to secure the border. And that's exactly, in fact, it's making the situation worse. And that's exactly what they wanted. That's exactly what they wanted. He said, quote, there's no type of dis en enforcement mechanism in place. So as long as Biden administration refuses to provide any type of enforcement, any type of blockage, of people crossing illegally, all this new Biden policy is going to do is actually attract 
and invite even more people to cross the border illegally. You've seen on videos ever since the Biden order went into place, there's no slowing down of people crossing the border. I mean, nasty work. And data um, from U.S. Customs and Border Protection has shown that through March and April 2024, numbers of encounters between ports of entry along the southwest border hit over 100,000 each month. In March, the Border Patrol recorded 138,480 encounters. In April, the count dropped 6% with authorities recording 128,900 encounters. Now, these are just encounters, mind you. The New York Post, in addition, recently revealed the Biden administration has been operating a mass amnesty program for migrants with over 350,000 asylum cases filed by migrants since 2022 being closed by the U.S. government if the person did not have a criminal record or was deemed a threat to the U.S. The termination of their uh, cases means that in addition to being removed from the legal system, they no longer need to report to U.S. authorities and are allowed to move throughout the country without fear of deportation, the outlet reported. So this, again, smoke and mirrors. This is really not going to do anything. In fact, it's bringing more people in because they know that up to a certain amount, up to 2,500 of them a day will be allowed to be admitted. So how is that? that is definitely not a border um uh, a border um, protection executive order. But let me know what you think about this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.